Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog review, and this one's on uh, Amy's Animal Rescue Island, of course. So on the front of the box here, we would have the uh, new LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog logos, and uh, and also that neat border as we have for all the sets here, and of course picture of all there is in, contained in a little choking hazard and. Recommended ages is 7 and up. Set number uh, 76992 has 388 pieces. And of course, Sonic Box Art, as all the sets do. All the minifig, or some of the minifigs and billable characters included. And on the back side of which is all the features of the set and also some other views of it, of course. And that is it with the box. And now onto the instruction manual. It's same on rendering as we've had since last summer, of course. And then how they're transitioning from plastic bags to paper bags and add for the builder app. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then advertisement of all the other sets and also, combine sets to expand, of course. Like that, and then the last building steps, of course. <coughs> so now, on to the mini figs included with this set. First of which we have Tails, which does come in in both this set and also in the uh, uh, Workshop and Tornado plane set to, of this way. Okay, but however, everything which just the same as in that set, of, which, of course. But also, and next to which we do have uh, Amy Rose, of which. Which, who, which also appears in the largest set of this wave, of course, but of course this is a which, quite cheap way to get her, of course, but however, the uh, headpiece of which I would sculpt it to pretty much just perfection, except for the bangs on top. Same thing with tails, of course. Well, it would be nice if they were like, not off to the side, or just probably just be straightforward to that, but whatever. And of course the skirt piece, same as we've had with Minnie Mouse. So, and of course both, and she was using the mid legs kind of suiting to her to be a little bit shorter than Sonic, of course. And of course, and as you can see, as of which holding the this large brick built hammer, of course, kind of fitting to her, but yeah. And also you get some of the like, like mini critter hers that there are. Being a Bunky, a Pink Flicky, and Piggy, of course. And of course, kind of similar, the Pink Flicky, kind of similar to what we had in the uh, Tornado's Plane set, of course. Then on the back side, which you can see, some, not only torso, back torso printing with tails, but some quite, but you can get that with Amy Rose there. But, and of course, this back printing done quite well, of course. And that's and so as for this minifig selection as a whole, I think this is which quite good for as is, but yeah. And also we get Crap Meat, which is a brick build uh, character for that. Since of course with this whole Sonic theme of which it's kind of a mix of both minifigs and brick build uh, figs, of course. Which of course the Mario line could have been like, or maybe will turn to that, but whatever. That's for the build of which of this. So you have kind of a snot technique going on with this teeth and these inverted slopes, of course. <coughs> and of course, and all four of these legs here comprise mostly like uh, mech fingers and things, of course. And also these large claws that are on Mixel-style ball joints and 
also do have one of those newer style bar pieces with you can like little clip uh, plates on there and you can get some good posability out of them nice to see and as for the eye parts which com comprise mostly flat plates or flat studs with printed eyes on them and on uh, minifig stands like in some CMF series but however these uh, eye pieces which can definitely be useful in mocks now and that's Versus backside, which which does have this open kind of part to it, where you can put one of the critters into a course. And so that's about it with crafty. Oh, hang on. And that is it with crafty. And now on to a hoverboard. And of course, very simple build for as is. Like get one of those. Or just a pair of brackets on both sides to get this like little slick effect on it and other core and also a couple of quarter plates on there with a couple of pizza slice pieces to make it more smooth and a large jumper to fit your tails mini thing onto a course but what I think this also could have had is maybe a pair of uh, clear plates underneath it to give it the feel that it's hovering and hope and also whereas this so which I hope they'd use in some other sets so you can have like have not just tails but also some other characters on these like you get in Sonic Free Riders and Riders games of course like uh, such as Jet the Hawk, Storm the Albatross and uh, Wave the Swallow of course There's hopefully we'll get those but in the future but yeah and that's about it with that and now on to the Animal Rescue Island itself. Which from first glance a uh, quite large for as is. And of course, kind of a facade, like some uh, modern day playset, Lego playsets of which. But of course with a few hollow areas on the backside, which I'll get to uh, later, but yeah. Which from this view of which uh, plenty of stuff going on. <coughs> like, uh, I'll zoom in here. Like this front set, like this one section, which consisting of a like a corner uh, plate kind of piece, but all clear blue with a sparkly effect, like we saw in some Disney sets, and leading down into a pool. Oh, oh, to that. Where you can like take one of the critters and drop them on down. Of course. Just going then as for this upper section, as you see it has which is consisting of a few uh, two one by two bricks. It's been giving a whole 16-bit uh, kind of look like which most of these sets are of the way kind of have. Oh, also forgot to mention a few technic bits on here making up a palm tree and kind of interesting build for that palm tree, of course, with of course with this uh, corner plate with this together piece here. Kind of like we saw on a couple speeder bikes in Star Wars, but nice to see in lime green here, which you can definitely use in mocks through there. <coughs> and then above is some little uh, stand for that, and, uh, which is consisting of a little plate with a few uh, food bits, with, oh, whoops, pieces onto them, like. Like something with the cherry piece in dark pink and a lime on a, a, a flat stud, a cupcake piece, and a pizza slice piece, but used as a slice of watermelon, of course. And also an upside down cone, but with another one of those lime pieces representing some sort of a smoothie or drink of some kind. But above that, do have a dish piece in pink and also a little cone piece above, of course. Probably to signify that it's done by Amy Rose, of course. 
but then let me pan down and as you see it does have a little archway piece kind of represented as a a little sand castle of course and also what as you can see a few jumpers around mainly to stand both the little critters and also the and a few mini things on too and also what that green part is for where you can pull on that and has a little entrance way to there which I'll show later but yeah and adjacent to that is have this little round plate on top of a, another round plate and, you, and, and you kind of spin sort of but no. And also, uh, you have a traditional, and also got the star piece from the LEGO Movie 2 line, but on one of those recent uh, plant stem pieces. And of course, representing as one of the flower bits of the game, or power up flowers of the games, of course. And from these two sides, which has this little bridge part made of a few uh, Technic uh, track pieces, or tread pieces in dark tan and on the back side of which have this little technic beam that you can just pull up and pull out and it collapses so well done feature like we saw in one Jago set and some other sets and then onto this side got pretty much just a couple got one of the newer style ring pieces on there and also a few jumpers with that are on just two by four bricks and also kind of a bit modular a bit whereas one of the main features is you can put crack meat on one of these and also and if you notice this pink part here with the blue slopes representing waterfalls down there now the feature with it is that you can take your Amy Rose get the hammer out and pound onto it and, and it would and let it emerge the uh, pink chaos emerald so that of which quite good well done feature even though kind of common of a feature but yeah and then as for the back side of which get kind of a little nestling kind of area but also with a gem piece in light blue right there and the opening door from earlier and also a few little beds that are all on uh, orangey yellow kind of jumper plates and also curved little bricks to there and of course a baby bottle and brush for uh, nursing the animal those little critters but yeah and then the yellow side of which you get one of the most recent egg piece but in spring green kind of interesting to see there and also a couple of curved slopes that lead down into it or no that are actually for the chaos emerald mechanism for that and of course the green flower piece but yeah and also forgot to say that this kind of area which kind of build off one of those recent plate pieces from the Mario line but I think this might be the first time of it in green but good to have here but yeah and so now on to the final verdict So overall, oh wait, hang on a sec. So overall, I think this is which a pretty good set, or quite good set for how it is. I get a few good features, and of course, good cheap way to get Amy Rose in a set, in any sets, and of course, a few hidden features and a couple of well done features for that, like the bridge collapsing and the Chaos Emerald emerging. The, yeah, and also a bit of modulability with the part with the rings of course but yeah but whereas $50 whereas 50 and has 388 pieces a little bit high for that but although 45 or even 40 would have been just fine for this set well maybe that's because it this theme is the all-new theme for Lego but whatever but although I think 
Whereas for the Mini Things of Witch, I think maybe just Sonic again, or even Knuckles also would have been good to include here, or even Cream the Rabbit also would have been nice to include for that. Or maybe that would have been a little much, but yeah, but whatever. But as is, still quite good for that. And of course, got a feature that includes working with Amy's Hammer, but otherwise it's still quite good for as is, but yeah. But also good to see some pieces in, or some pieces nice to see in good uses, like the leaves on the palm tree and also the uh, star flower, of course, but yeah. So this set kind of works out as a good parts pack like most of these Sonic sets kind of do, but yeah. And so now if you're looking to get this set for your Sonic collection, definitely pick this up. And if you are looking to uh, continue your uh, Sonic uh, set range, set collection as well, then also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and tell your thoughts in the comments and on this set in the comments. And thanks for watching.